Today, I'd like to talk to you about solving one of the biggest problems with these thermal imaging cameras. You would have hopefully seen my previous video with the unboxing in the overall description and you would have seen that I put a couple of batteries in there and they're showing up quarter full. All the new batteries I had, the bar in the little screen was only quarter full. Once I stopped recording yesterday, the low battery cutoff countdown started and every battery I tried was still only quarter. Now there, now if you use rechargeable batteries, their overall voltage is even less. So it was a real pain. So I wanted to come up with a quick and easy solution. CNC 4A always takes you to the next level. We offer you tips and tricks, but not for a million bucks. You can do lots of things for a million bucks, but we do it the old cheapo way, the simple and cost effective way. And so last night I had a tinker and I managed to come up with a pretty good solution. Uh, this is a box from yesterday, if you remember. The box is unusual, it's got a little magnet in there to hold it all together. So, that's it all packed away. Pull it out. Here's the container. Put the straps on. To feed the straps in. You feed that in and pop it in. So, now there it is. Modified. Switch it on. It'll come up. Let's see what happens. And it's showing half today. Yesterday those batteries were showing quarter. <laughs> then it'll turn off. You come back an hour later, put them in, and they'll start to work. So the solution is already in here. Can you tell what it is? And what's unique about this is there is no modifications, permanent modifications to it. So you don't void your warranty. So what I did was I took off the sticker, took these screws out, took the bolt, the screw and the nut out of there and found out that the halves didn't separate. <laughs> so the way you have to get into it for the mod I'm going to show you is you have to flip this shroud off the edge here. So you have to have like a curved screwdriver. A lot of the uh, screwdriver sets now have a little curved blade and you got to push it in and flick it up. These photos will show you what's there. There's a finger there, finger there, finger there, finger there and it's in underneath. So you just prise it up, work it off then you'll see there's the, the two wires for the battery, different parts of the circuit board, and the screen strip that goes back in there. So be careful, don't rip it off. And it's quite simple. You get, well, I'll show you the simple solution now. There it is there. It's a JST RCY type connector. A lot of the quadcopters and little radio control models and all that use it. And they're quite versatile. And I've used it on other videos, if you go through my 270 videos now, you'll find I've used it quite a lot. And if you're looking at a pit temperature controller modification to go from a, from the relay to a SSR, uh, you'll see how to use it. It's similar. All I did was popped off the cover, found out where these terminals, battery terminals went to. And some of the reason why you can't split it in half is because it looks like some of the boards and that type of thing are uh, taken over both halves. So I didn't want to totally wreck it. So you just cut your wire so as they just fit in there. The base of the cap has got a, a V that fits between the batteries. So you have to make sure that that V, when you put it on, is just missing that. You bend your wires up so they both go up. You strip them back as a T. You just feed them in underneath the spring clips and slide it out through there. Job's done. Then you can make up your own battery pack. But even more versatile is you get yourself a little LiPo battery. This is a 2S, which means it's got two cells. And this little one is a 900 milliamp, and it comes, like, like I told you, 
that's what they use for that's to each cell that's for recharging all that type of thing so what's even good about this these are 7.4 volts and this one's charged up to 8.3 so you got four batteries 1.5 volts is 6 volts 8.35 you think gee is that going to blow it up <laughs> I didn't know so I thought I'd give it a go now normally you don't run your normal batteries with other batteries in it rechargeable's okay but it didn't catch fire last night so I'll just do the demo today pop her in switch it on no smoke good sign and if you can see up the little box completely full if I take out the normal batteries it's still showing completely full you can make up your own battery pack or if you like this almost fits in the width of those two cells it's just that this where the cables come out it hits on the side but if you'd like to file away or grind away a little section you can replace those batteries with a lipo that will give you longer time higher voltage and less weight so you can just buy them on ebay look for a lipo battery 2s and then this is a 900 milliamp that's the sort of size you see in the multicopters quadcopters that type of thing but look for the type of plug because there's that many different models find out with the JST RCY power connector the red like that put it in and you won't have any trouble with your power supply running out so if you subscribe and you've got any answer, any questions they'll be answered that's a quick easy solution a quick cheap fix I think it's a, you can buy about 10 of them in a packet for about one dollar two dollars off eBay so buy a packet of them and a packet and one of these and you're laughing as it's all working fine nothing's broken haven't voided the warranty can just pull those two wires out of the spring clip and she's back to hell it was when it came out of the packet so as always thanks for watching